in these problems we are talking about the complement of an event. So, you know, if I flip a coin, uh, that you can figure out the probability of getting a heads. It's, you know, 0.5, 1 out of 2, 50 percent. The complement of that means the probability of it not being heads. In this case, it's the same thing because the the other thing that can happen is that it's tails, and that also has uh, a one out of two or a fifty percent probability of happening. Let's look at a, a problem uh, involving a complement. This one says Neil is in the art club. There are thirty-five students in the club. Three of them will be picked at random to go on a retreat. So, if we were going to figure out the probability of being picked to go on a retreat, there's three chances out of thirty-five. So that's the event of being picked. But we want to know, what is the probability that Neil will not be picked? So the complement is all of the other possible events. And out of the 35 possibilities, three of them are being picked. 32, I just subtract, 35 minus 3, 32 are the number of chances of not being picked. So the complement of this event is 32 out of 35. Let's try one more like this. So this one says the probability of drawing a red ball from an urn is 5 out of 25. What's the probability that a ball, a red ball, will not be drawn? So we want the complement of this. So I'm just going to take 25 minus 5. That's 20 chances of, of a, a not red ball being picked. So it's going to be 20 out of 25. Although we probably should simplify this. They didn't hear, but we should. We can divide the top and the bottom by 5, and we would get a probability of four-fifths. So that is how to calculate the probability of complements of events.